Hello and welcome back to another character creation video. My name is Lumen and today we're having a look at Chill Town. This is a unique blend of soothing simulation and an indie game with music, decoration, fishing, cooking, farming and more. Yeah, it's an interesting description. This is the sequel to Chill Corner as far as I understand and yeah, it's a life sim with all that you'd expect from a life sim in 2023 it's also got some pretty cute characters and an interesting character creation system so we're going to jump in and have a look at it now if you'd like to do a deep dive to discover all this to discover about chill town you can follow the links below and as always there will be timestamps. i don't think there's going to be much in the timestamps that you can actually like you know jump between but i'll put them there anyway as we jump in here and start out, I'm going to say that you don't pick male or female on your character. Not really. You do at the end select your style that changes your character's voice tone. And I suppose the way people refer to you, but that's about it. The options that you have here, they are both the same on male and female. So first up, your name. You get to pick a name. <laughs> you can tell here uh, by the randomization options that it is also unisex. You get both. They're all just, they're in here. Okay. Then now skin tone. Some interesting choices here. They start off reasonably light or pale and you can go reasonably dark. And then, well, <laughs> you have these. Uh, you have the ones that are a little more out there. I mean, if they were going to go for the colors, they could just well, have thrown a red in here as well. Or like a, a slightly pinker one or whatever it's yeah that's cool it's nice that they give you some more interesting color choices so if you want to make yourself like a vampire or a little mini hulk or something like that you can do it that's cool yeah for this kind of game and for this style it definitely works then here uh, once again these are the same male and female uh, you can't as far as i understand rotate the character here so you just get a look at the front of it some nice hairstyles, decent amount of short styles, decent amount of long styles. You can sort of see by looking at the picture here that there's a ponytail at the back. Can't look at it here right now. Uh, here you've got the pigtails, longer pigtails, and long at the back. You've got these little wing things here. Keep in mind, obviously, that you will equip things like hats and other accessories and stuff on your character when you're actually playing. So, yeah, I mean, you won't always see the full hairstyle. But... Let's put one of these on and then let's look at the colors. Seems to be a decent selection for the colors here. Although with the weird sort of glare and shininess that their hair has, it's a little difficult to see what the color actually is. Some of them shine through quite nicely like this one. And you can generally see the real color on your eyebrows. But uh, yeah, I mean, still a decent selection. And I mean, this is quite pretty. The colors work quite nicely. It's got a very cozy feel to it. I kind of like that about it. So there you go. I'll go through them one more time quickly just so you can have a look. I'll do it on a different style, like maybe the, let's say the long pigtails. I, I like it. I mean, the, the actual colors that they have here are very vibrant and that's nice. There you go. And I mean, this is how you're going to sort of differentiate yourself from the other players out there and also make yourself look more feminine and more masculine uh, i guess i guess uh, so we'll take this one and then we'll jump into the face options this is kind of interesting so the way this works is you get to pick the face but then you get to change some of the details on the face so as an example if i pick this little cat face thing here then i can still pick one of these that will change the way it looks so you can basically have the normal one uh, then you can have the eyes like that and then you can have the eyes like this looking slightly more uh, impressed with itself and then you can have the same one but with the mouth open it's basically you can do that on each one of these faces there you go and it will change it not super significantly but a little bit and and that makes that there are actually quite a lot of combinations here interesting combinations I think this might be the first time that I've seen a system exactly like this. It's not something I've seen before. But for a game like this, again, it's it's kind of nice to be able to change that about your character. Have that different look and feel to your character's face. So there you go. Let's take the basic one for now, and then let's look at the eye colors. 
I'm not a huge fan of how the eye colors look. Uh, they, again, have this, like, glossiness uh, to them that sort of removes a lot of the vibrance and the color. Uh, I mean, a part of that is the, the <laughs> weird cloudy character creation section we have here. Uh, you know, when you actually jump into the game and when you're in different lighting, then the colors look a little different. Uh, but, yeah, for, for the purposes of the character creation system, you can't really see the colors all that nicely. Overall, though, the colors are nice, once again, just like the hair colors. They are nice colors. Next up, the outfits. Now, I'm assuming this is temporary stuff. You sort of just pick in your starter outfit here, and that's going to be that, you know? Uh, you, you pick the outfit that you want here, but when you jump in, you can probably change it after the fact. So, yeah, there are, I mean, there are a few decent choices here. Masculine and feminine choices, some nice dresses, some nice, like, track suits and uh, work outfits and stuff like that. They're cute. They're cute. But again, I imagine these are temporary. And then, we'll go through them one more time. And our final choice will be... Glasses. There you go. You can put some glasses on your character. And that's it. That's all of it. As I mentioned at the start, uh, here you get to select whether your character's voice will be a male or female voice. And it's also how people uh, refer to you in the game. But there you go. There's no randomize or anything like that. You just click go and then you're in the game. And we're done. Chill town. I don't have much else to say about it. I think that these are fantastically cute characters. I think that they went for a very specific style here and they nailed it. And I think that in combination with some stuff that you can most likely change in the game, you will definitely get what you want out of this. I, I love the faces specifically. I think that they look super cute. <laughs> it's really cool. Uh, so there you go. You guys can check back here soon for more. Give this one a like and share it and do all that other good stuff. Uh, if you'd like to support me otherwise, you can join the Discord server. You can check the Twitch stream out. Or you can find me on Coffee if you want to throw money at me. There you go. Done. Happy that. <laughs>